They've been around for centuries. They celebrate dance, spring and summer fun, the Maypole. And for the impact they give your backyard, they've dead set got to be one of the easiest DIY projects going around. You put one of these up at your place at your next party, it's an instant conversation starter and the kids, well, they are going to remember it forever. Now for your Maypole, you're going to need a pole, aren't you? You could use PVC pipe, but that's going to cost money. I went down to a carpet supplier, got one of these for free. The cardboard tube from inside the roller carpet. Perfect. The guy had heaps of them to give away. I'm painting up the pole in a neutral colour. I've gone with grey because it's a really good colour underneath bold colours, which is where the ribbon on your maypole comes in. Once you've painted the maypole, you're going to need something to attach all of your ribbons to. It's called the crown. This is it. It's a decorative piece and it goes up at the top of the maypole. To make up the crown, I'm cutting up some hardwood trim into four pieces of equal lengths. Then, cutting notches into both ends of each piece that gives me a position to tie on the ribbon and also helps stop that ribbon from sliding off the end. Now I'm drilling a hole through the centre of each of those four pieces for a machine bolt that with a little bit of glue will lock those pieces together in a wheel shape to create my crown. I've cut some little notches in the top of the maypole just so that when I stick my crown on, well the notches, they locate it so it doesn't slide around all over the joint when the kids are running around the outside. And just to make sure of it, I've got some duct tape. Is there anything this stuff cannot do? Beautiful. How good is it? Now the smart money is on tying your ribbon to the crown before it gets up three metres in the air. I've got eight prongs here for eight runners or dancers. Keep in mind you want your ribbon to be at least twice the length as the height of the pole. Now to give this made pole a bit of backbone with star pickets and you want the base of the pickets at the same diameter as the inside of your pipe. At the top, lean them out slightly, then drive them in. What that does is creates pressure because you've got to pull these together to get the pole over the top and then they pull, pull out like that. Now every good crown needs a little bit of decoration. Flowers, perfect. Now, yeah. for a little bit of thigh power. Yeah, hook it onto one side, squeeze in. Maybe use your hand if you can. Ah, oh, that's got it. And then squeeze as the pole slides down. Easy. Oh, this is good. Look at the pressure on it. Whew. They're spreading apart, holding that thing up nice and straight. You know, just got to find the kids. Shouldn't be too hard to do. If you do like the maypole, we'll give it a big thumbs up. And if not, thumbs down. But by subscribing, you will get free DIY fun stuff and tips for maintenance at your place. G'day. I've written a book. It's called How to Build a Billy Cart and Other Fun Stuff. It's in all good bookstores across Australia. If you think you might like a copy, give this bit a thumbs up. <laughs>